all right what is going on guys so today we're going to be replacing a steering wheel in alex's e36 replacing a steering wheel is one of the easiest ways to aesthetically and cosmetically change your car and change the way it feels and drives going from an old stock wheel to a nice three piece like this m tech 2 steering wheel is a very good way to sharpen up the feel of your car and while it doesn't change the performance it does definitely change the way it feels because the steering wheel is actually what you're grabbing onto when you drive obviously and going from something old and worn to something nice, fresh, and new with really good leather like this, having a really nice steering wheel is its just hard to explain. So whether you're upgrading like we are here or replacing it with something that's in better condition or just changing it out altogether, this is how we're going to be doing it. We are replacing it with an MTech 2. This does have a clock spring and an airbag and all that good stuff. We will be doing another video fairly soon on doing a whole standalone, like quick release setup for you guys who want that style of wheel. This is more kind of an OE fan factory style direct replacement so say you're going from a four point to a factory three point or just from a four point to a cleaner four point or just taking your steering wheel off to do some work underneath it this is how we are going to be removing and replacing it so the first step is to disconnect the battery so disconnect the ground cable first and then i like to disconnect the positive just to be safe the airbag system will stay live for around 15 minutes after you disconnect the battery so you will need to wait we've been waiting for maybe 40 minutes playing some games so a little overkill but you do need to wait step two is we need to take this guy off here there are a couple of screws underneath and we need access to him to get to the clock spring and access some other electrical connections very gently pull apart the two plates this one should come off like that pop it off on the other side all right so now we're going to be going after two t25 torx bits inside the steering wheel there's little holes in the back and that is what holds the airbag onto the steering wheel So once the airbag comes forward, you do need to disconnect it. There should be a centerpiece and then a ground. The ground should come off, so you should be able to just pull the wire straight back. Yep. Just give it a good wiggle. And then the centerpiece, you might need to dig in with a flathead to kind of work it back. And then the airbag will come out. The big Johnny in the middle. So now we need to take that bolt out. Now that bolt is fun because it is on there very tight and we are going to be using an impact to take it off. Um, if you don't have an impact, have someone hold the steering wheel while you bust that loose. Don't use the steering lock to loosen the bolt because you will break the steering lock and don't crank the wheel all the way to its steering lock and use the steering rack to break it because you can also break steering components that way. So. The easiest way to do it is with an impact. If not, put the key in, turn it to key on two so the steering wheel will turn, and then you can hold the steering wheel or stick something through it to brace it, but don't use the steering lock or the steering rack to break that loose. We have a key on one so the wheel will spin and the wheel lock won't stop it from turning so that we don't damage the lock. And now hold the wheel and send it. So don't take it out all the way. Just let it hang on a couple of threads like that. And now the good part, you gotta pull the steering wheel off. And these are press fit, so it might come off, or it'll come off easy. That works. <laughs> if it comes off easy, great. And before we move the steering wheel completely, we do need to disconnect the clock springs. Okay. So now pinch the tabs on the side of that. Pull it out, and then undo this guy. Good. Just unplugs. All right. Also, for a better quick shot of how to get this guy out, if you twist him, he will come down. Before you take the wheel off, um, make sure the wheel is dead straight. So we're going to put the key in again, 
to prevent it from going against the steering lock. I'm going to hold the wheel, and Alex is going to give it a good, a good tightening. And the wheel will get pressed onto the splines as you tighten it down. Good and tight. All right. All right, so for the airbag connections, we have the ground connection, which is going to connect on that tab right there. And then the center plug is going to go right on the center. So this is the airbag for this. This is the factory airbag. So we have the connection right in the middle. And then up in the top left corner is our little ground tab. Top ground will just wiggle on. And now you may place the airbag into his home. Uh -huh. All right, back to bolts. And you might need to push the airbag kind of into the wheel as you tighten those guys down. And when it's all done, the airbag should be nice and tight, except it should feel like a horn. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna reconnect our connections. I don't really think this has a preferred way to live. So we'll just tuck him kind of up with himself. So now we just need to install our lower steering shaft cover. And it'll snip into place on a couple of spots. Up top, you just gotta press it in get it to clip right. Yep. Now reinstall your screw. Ta-da! Alright, so we're gonna go take it for a little test drive up and down the block to make sure everything's good. His airbag light was intermittently on and off before, so we're not super worried about that. I mean, it kind of pulled a little bit before, right? We've never done an alignment on this. Yeah, we haven't done an alignment and we're on a really shitty road right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty center. Cool. All right, that is it. Our steering wheel is installed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I will see you guys later. Search but you stay lost